In the following tutorial, we will cover how to create a custom object inside of Maya, export it and import it inside Chrome Editor. First, let's download the plugin tool. Head over to cojmodern.com, click on Tools, scroll down. We will download Autodesk Maya Exporter. Essentially, the steps are going to be very similar to work in Maya or Mac. So I'm going to be covering Maya, but the steps are going to be very similar to exporting and importing into Chrome Editor if you're using 3ds Max. So go ahead, download the exporter, and let's install. Now the Maya exporter tools, after you downloaded, the exporter tools only work with Maya 2009. Navigate into your Maya folder, into your 2009, and scripts. You want to copy and paste Chrome Exporter and User Setup into your Scripts 2009 folder. So select them, copy, and paste. Now for the rest of the files, you need to install these inside the Installation Maya folder. You want to navigate inside your Installation folder where Maya was installed, inside Bin, and then inside Plugins. And inside the Plugins folder, go ahead, copy the rest of the files, NM Converter, Chrome Animation Export, and Chrome Mesh Export copy and paste them inside the plugins folder where Maya was installed. After you've done that, go ahead and launch Maya. After you launch Maya, right here up on top, you should have a Chrome pull-down menu installed and ready to use. First thing is when you start modeling and creating objects inside the 3D package, it's very important to create everything to scale and set up proper unit. Head over to Window, Setting Preferences, and under Preferences, we want to set everything up in units to centimeters. So head over to Settings, and you want to set Working Units, where it says Linear, you want to set it to centimeters. Click Save. Now to give you a point of reference of how big to create your objects in centimeters inside Maya, here are some basic measurements inside Chrome Editor of crate, barrel, single door, medium window, and the size of a human. So I created a very simple object, this crate. I want to cover a few important things that you need to do before you export and import inside the editor. First, the scale of the object is very important. Now as we discussed before and as we set up a unit display, my crate right now is 120 centimeters by 120 centimeters. Next, naming the object in, inside Maya is very important. You want to name your object, name the object, underscore zero. And zero stands for the first object that gets rendered in level of detail. If you're having multiple level of details in your map, you would name your objects name underscore one, then you would name underscore two and underscore three. What level of detail means is depending on the distance the player is from the model, different model gets rendered. So the less detailed model gets rendered further away and more detailed the model is, the closer it gets rendered as the player walks up to it. So each model, each level of detail switches based on the location and the distance the player is to those models. So I went ahead and I created different level of details for my crate. I have the lowest, which is custom crate underscore three, a little bit higher, custom crate underscore two, more detailed, custom crate underscore one, and the most detailed, custom crate underscore zero. You will be able to set the distance at which these models get rendered inside the engine, inside the editor, and we will get to it when we import these crates inside Chrome Editor. Another important thing is collision. I have a collision box that is very similar and the same size and shape as my object. And the name of the collision has to be named collision hull underscore zero. Now all of your objects have to be properly UV'd. If I open up my UV editor, you can see that all of my objects have been UV'd and laid out. And also before you export anything, you need to do a few things. One, you need to triangulate your object. And the way you do that is by selecting your object and by going up to mesh, triangulate, it will triangulate your objects. You need to do this for every level of detail and for every object in your scene that you're planning to export. Next, before you export, you need to delete history on all of your objects. So by highlighting everything, you can go up to edit, scroll down until you see delete by type, and delete history. When you're ready to export, go to your hypergraph and take your collision hole and parent it to the custom crate. And the way you do that is, if it's not parented, just select your collision hole, drag it, middle mouse button, drag over custom crate, and now you have it parented. Now after you've deleted history and you're attached and parented to the main box, the collision hole, you need to make sure that all your objects are in 000 space. So by taking every single one of the objects and positioning them inside at 000 space, so now I'm ready to export and let's do a final check. First, make sure that all your objects are named properly. Custom crate 0, 
collision hull parented to, to the custom crate zero then I have custom crate one two three which are level of details all of my meshes are triangulated and they have uh, and all the history has been deleted next what you want to do is you want to select everything in your scene with the exception of collision hull so once you have everything selected go up to chrome export mesh set the mesh scale to one I want to detect LODs and next is just export selected objects and you want to name your objects the same name without the underscore uh, and number so I'm going to name my custom crate click save and it says export successful next we need to create textures and prop profiles to have our models work properly inside the editor create a color map normal map and a specular map all your texture files have to be in a DDS format which are DXT1 or DXT5 material files then we'll modify the skin file and then we'll place those custom models inside the proper folder then we'll import and place our models inside the level and we'll also set up our LOD distance for the models and create a DEF file so here I have my specular map I have my color map and I have my normal map to make your textures work properly in game they have to be a DDS extension and you can get a DDS Photoshop plugin on the NVIDIA website so go to Google type in DDS Photoshop plugin and you'll be presented with NVIDIA plugin and go ahead and download the current version once you install the Photoshop plugin you'll be able to save uh, your files as DDS format if I am gonna go ahead and save this as a color map you're able to see that now I can save as a DDS format and the menu will pop up for you to save as DXT1, DXT5 you can you want to generate map, map maps for all your images for all your DDS files and you're able to save as a DXT1 or 5 so once you export your mesh which is right here custom crate dot msh two files will be automatically created a mat file dot mat and a skin file dot skn and we'll need to modify those and set the properties to have our textures to correspond in the material files so go ahead and open this inside notepad so here's my dot mat file and you can see that it's, it has color controls normal shines that's pointing to the proper texture in DDS format that are inside the same folder right here I also have shines factor and normal factor set to one now open up the skin file again you can open this up in notepad and this is the default that gets generated once you export from Maya I went ahead and replaced the text with a more basic version and this is the basic version that I created for my custom create skin so now we have all the files set we have all the DDS file texture maps generated we have our mat mat file we have our skin file and now let's place this inside the proper folder and open it up and import it inside the editor now let's place our model inside the proper folder basically you can place your model with all the files and textures inside data folder I created a new custom folder called custom objects it's inside data maps extra and if I go inside and I click on custom crate and here I have all of my files and textures now inside the editor if you go under all and you navigate to maps extra folder that's where we place our custom folder go inside now we can see that we have custom objects go inside there and here we have our folder with a custom crate inside if I select it and I place it inside my map well, we now see everything works just fine the textures show up and if I double click on it if I go into skin uh, we have our crate custom that we created earlier now let's set up a level of detail for our crate if you go to view scroll down to other windows and click on mesh visibility you have all your objects that are currently placed in your scene you have to place your custom object inside your scene for you to view in the list now find your custom object custom crate and here you have your level of detail 0 1 and 2 here is where you set how far the object will begin to switch to a lower level of detail based on distance so my first level of detail is at 2000 then it goes up to 10,000 and 20,000 so once you have that set for your object double click on it and it lets generate a DEF file so once you have everything set how you like it inside the object attributes window click on this dump defs and your DEF file should be generated inside the folder where you have your custom object and here we have our .def file and for the final thing you want to create a PNG file which is 96 by 96 pixels and this is the preview of what it will look like inside the editor instead of the default image that shows up so create a 96 by 96 pixel 
and save it as PNG inside Photoshop. And the way you do that, just use a print screen inside the editor. Place it inside the same folder where your custom object is at. And make sure to name your preview as object name underscore prvw.png. So this is what it looks like. And once you launch the editor, you have your custom image. So now inside the editor, we see our objects. They have collision. We are not able to pass through the object. And we have successfully imported a custom object from Maya inside to Chrome Editor.